Rav Shleimah Lekalibach. I have to tell you, a complicated personality. I didn't know him. I heard a lot of stories, people, actually relatives, that had a real connection with him. Wasn't simple at all. We usually think of Rav Shleimah Kalibach, the singer. In fact, if anyone has a question why I put these two personalities together, in Dovel Be'ita, which is a very chash of a sefer, which goes through the yard sites and the timely th things of the year, it puts the two together in the list. <laughs> so anyway, so Shlomo Kalivach, if you read a sefer, this is a sefer, it's Kedai Mamish, to open it and to read every letter. Sipurei Neshama, by Rav Shmuel Zivan. I read this sefer, it's basically written in Lashon HaKodesh in Hebrew, but it's from Haklatot, from recording, direct recording of Shleimah. And it gives you a whole different taste of who Rav Shleimah was. On Shabbos Kodesh, Shabbos, a time where a person could reflect a little bit. So I was thinking to myself in my head, I was going to, you know, Rav Shlomah Kobach, I love his Nikunim. It's accepted by everyone today. At the same time, when Moshe Feinstein, Zichon Livrocha, he wrote, he's not allowed to really listen to the Nigunim that came after the period of time where he was doing things that they, the Rabbanim and Moshe himself felt were wrong. On the other hand, he did an incredible tshuva, the famous story that you could look it up in the internet, and it's a person that's living now, where Rav Shlomo Karlbach, right before he left this world, was challenged by some religious Jew, and, and wasn't even willing to shake his hand. And Avshlom HaKalbach went back and forth and asked for tshuva and said, I'm doing tshuva. And then he got on the plane and he left this world. And I decided in my head, I said, you know, today we use the Nikunim, so many people use his tunes. And if a person did tshuva, so even those Nikunim that Ramosha Feinstein himself probably then would have said, you can't listen, today he would, he would be masking because he did tshuva. There's a chiddush that came to my head. But I want to explain to you why my quoting on Moshe Feinstein. In this sefer, Avshalom HaKalibach describes his connection to these gedoidim, including on Moshe Feinstein. You cry after every word that he writes because he sh you see, besides, of course we know, he was the Rav of the Bali Tshuva, how much he loved every Jew, but how much he appreciated Torah, how much he loved gedoidim. In fact, his first Rebbe, before we get to Ramosha, finds Rosh Shlomo Hyman. Listen to the words how he describes his Rebbe, his first main Rebbe. He says, Rav Shlomo, this is Rav Shlomo Hyman. Not only did he teach us how to open up a Gemara, how to close a Gemara. You know how you close a Gemara? I will never forget the sweetness of Rav Shlomo Hyman. At the end of the Shir, he would kiss the Gemara, and he would hold it in his arm. You read, you see what it means, how much he appreciated. There's no way he could have been who he was without his appreciation and forget his godless, they say, his geniusness in Torah. So whether he would have been the Rosh Hashiva of Lakewood or not, I don't know. But he had a calling that he felt he had to do. And listen to the story that he says about Ramosha Feinstein. He was close to Ramosha Feinstein. I think maybe even got smich from him, but I think he went to a footner. Anyway, you read this book. He writes the following. There was a neighbor to Ramosha Feinstein. And this neighbor actually wasn't religious, but he got close to Ramosha. He never, this neighbor, the young boy, didn't even realize who Ramosha was until he went to Israel. And he said, you know, I have a, a neighbor, a rav named Ramosha Feinstein. Anyway, they said, what? The God of love on the day of he was a god of Adar in America. Anyway, he comes back, he tells his father. And he takes his father to Ramosha Feinstein. Ramosha Feinstein, besides his incredible mind, just watch him, watch him. If you look at his chuvas back and forth, how he was a fighter. Ramosha Feinstein was the most loving Jew. He had this brightness, how he would greet a Jew. And he greets this old man who was quite old already. And he brings him so close. The person gets so inspired, he decides that's it, he's going to learn Torah. But he, he didn't know anything. He tells his son, let's learn. And they spent months, months, months on one daf. This is Mamish described in this book from Rav Shleime. Months on one daf. Finally, they finish a daf. The father turns to his son and says, you know, we have to make a celebration. The son's a little bit embarrassed on one, how do you make a celebration? On one daf, you have to make a whole seam. But he says, I'll go to Ramosha Feinstein. He goes to Ramosha Feinstein, and Ramosha says, Avade for him. This is a seam, and I'm going to come to the seam. 
And they made this incredible celebration. And Moshe, the God of the Lord, came to see him on one day. The next day, this person passed away. And Oshlem Elekali Bach says, Can you imagine what it's like when he came up to Shemaim with this daf? This daf that he put his entire neshama. These were two people that we could emulate. And we always have to focus on the positive and not the negative. Hatzach Raman, an amazing week.